Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you see from the farm, I've been pretty busy cutting everything down, getting everything groomed for the winter. Everything's pretty much gonna be going dormant We're now. done with hay on the back pasture. And so I've just been spending the last couple of weeks just bush hogging everything, getting everything cut down and groomed down, getting all the fence lines trimmed. I wanted to give you an update on the girls. Um, it's been a, a, a little while since I've done a, a height and weight on them. They're two years and seven months now. So we're getting ready to start driving them and start practicing with them and getting them going. But I just wanted to give you an update on, on their size and where they are now. So I'm gonna stand next to each of them so you can kind of see and then I'll show you their height and weight. So that's Jean, two years, seven months. And she is about 17 one tall and about 1,350 pounds. And that's a guesstimate because I'm just using this height and weight tape until I can get a, an official scale over in the shop. That'll, I'll get one of those one day, but it's not super important that I know how much they weigh. I mean, if they go to the vet, the vet will weigh them over there, but they're about 1,350 pounds, or Jean is. Now let's look at Grace. And the ground's a little bit sloped in her stall. Uh, it's, it's sloped in both stalls. I measured them over here at the hitching post prior to putting them in the stalls, but she's about 17 hands. She's about one inch shorter than Jean, and she's about 1,325, 1,330 pounds, um, where she's, you know, about 20, 25 pounds heavier. Grace seems to be growing just a little bit slower than Jean. Jean is always a little bit, she's always been a little bit bigger, but everything has happened a little bit faster. Her baby coat came off quicker than Grace's. So these girls are two days apart. Their mothers are full sisters and they have the same sire. So they're seven, eight sisters. And they've always been real close in size, but she just seems to have developed faster. She seems to be, her face has gotten more of the horse shape versus the foal shape. Hers develop, her face developed a little bit later. Like I said, she lost her baby coat quicker. About, about six months later, she lost her baby coat. They still have some reddish in their tail and they still have some reddish in their mane. You can see the front of her forelock here. And at the base of her mane right there, she's got a little bit of red. but it's growing out. They have both darkened up at the end of the summer here, going into fall. They're both getting pretty dark. But like I said, Jean here has just always progressed a little bit faster. She's always progressed a little bit faster than her. And it's, you know, when we have siblings, if you had twins, for instance, one twin may grow a little bit faster, or if you were playing youth athletics and all the children were the same age, but one child was bigger than the other child, the other children rather, and and then two seasons later, you're playing, playing with those same children again and all the children are the same size. And it's like, wow, that boy or that girl hit their growth spurt early. And I think she just hit her growth spurt earlier than her. I think she's gonna catch up. She's only about an inch. So it's not, it's not super noticeable, um, but they're doing real good. They're just still super gentle. They haven't, um, they've never offered to buck, bite or rear or anything. 
they don't mind the harnesses and the bits and the halters and the bridles and anything. They're just good girls. They follow you all around in the pasture, especially this one. Grace will be there with you, but Jean's going to be right on your back. And you remember Jewel. She's doing great. She drives excellent. Those of you that have asked, this is a scald mark. This is um, from where the Amish man had her bridle on her or her halter on her in the pasture or driving or working or whatever. And it scalded, it killed the hair follicles. So the hair grows white instead of black. The hair is still there, it's just killed the hair follicles and now it just grows white. So she's got a scald mark here across the bridge of her nose and she's got a scald mark on her back rump back there, but it doesn't, doesn't bother. I know a lot of you would have asked about that, but she's just this big old sweetie. And she's 17-1 as well. Doesn't look it in here because I'm higher on the ground than she is. Super gentle, you can do anything you want with her. And this is the new girl, this is Becky that I picked up two months ago. Her and Jewel have made an incredible team. They drive really good. So we're gonna be doing a lot more driving videos here soon. I just had to get the farm in shape for the winter and get everything trimmed down. One of the other things I did out here at the farm is I borrowed a grain drill from a buddy and I planted paddock three and paddock one in rye and fescue. So. I'm letting those pastures rest right now. So hopefully it'll germinate here in the next week, week and a half. And then I'll have some rye growing really good in there and I'll have some winter forage for them other than the hay. So right now I've got them confined to paddock two. And as you saw, I've got a hay bale underneath the shade shelter. Uh, during the winter, we're not gonna really need shade that much. Um, so I've got the hay underneath there to keep it um, dry when it rains. So they're gonna be locked in paddock two, which is a little over four acres, and they'll be able to forage in there, and then they'll be able to come over here and eat oats every day. And then once paddocks one and three start sprouting up and we get a pretty good ground cover of that, I will, uh, I'll let them forage on that throughout the winter. When I take them out of the barn, I let them eat in the barnyard for a little bit before I put them back in the pasture because the grass over here is pretty palatable yet. And the, the babies always come into the stalls to pick up what the big girls drop. Jean always goes over to get water first and then she'll come back and then she'll go into the stall and uh, help Grace clean up. She's not gonna stay over there, she's gonna come back. She always does. And then the big girls are over here grazing. I'll leave them out here for 20, 30 minutes and then I'll run them back over. So this is just kind of like dessert out here. Just They've grazed it down pretty, pretty far, but uh, they still like it. They'd rather eat this than that out there. That's gonna do it for this week. I appreciate you watching. We'll get some more driving videos out real soon. Now that falls here, it's gonna be really enjoyable to drive in the woods and on the dirt road. So remember who you are, be kind to those around you, stand up for what you believe in.